First of all, thank you for inviting me and allowing me to, to talk about the job we've done for, for this series, which is uh, True Detective Season 4, My Country, which was written and directed by Isa Lopez. She's an amazing director and writer, and I had a pleasure of meeting her many, many years ago. Well, not that many. And then we did one amazing fantasy thriller film, which is called Vuelven, or Tigers Are Not Afraid, which is very much related to, to the whole series of this season of True Detective to Night Country. So that was, let's say, that was the opening door for our relationship, and meeting her has been a, a blast ever since. And now we're here. This is a... Uh, one amazing studio in Mexico City, which is called Cinematic Media, and I am the head of Post Sound Post here. And it's been a joyful process to discover the, the talent, the crew that is been joining us on this, you know, this, not only the release of the studio, but also the, the everyday workflow of them. I can say that I've started here because pretty much I had no choice. I think the work I've done all my life is something that it it was, uh, in a way, was within me, and I didn't knew that it could be something I could, I could work on. What I mean is that ever since I remember, I was very much uh, in the attracted or in the realm of, of sound, of music, of cinema. And, you know, luckily, while I was still in college, a friend of us, one day, one afternoon, he said, oh, you know, guys, they are starting a radio station from scratch. And the only thing they are looking for is that people that has never worked before, with no experience, is willing to, to work on that. And in my perspective, in my personal perspective, sound for that time of radio, and in general, sound for radio, is, ex is exactly the same than doing sound for films. Because you work with the very basic, same very basic ingredients, which is dialogue, music, and sound effects. Because I had a, a, a long relationship with Isa, I remember somewhere around 2017, she wrote me an email. She said, Martin, I'm developing this idea for a series, maybe a feature, but I think it's more like a feature uh, and and she sent me the, the script. On the case of True Detective, when Isa heard about and was confirmed that she was about to go to Iceland where the uh, series was shot, I felt that it was very much related to Vuelven or to Tigers, I'm not afraid. I felt it had very unique elements that are related one to the other. Every now and then we exchange some emails and saying, uh, uh, querido, can you find me this idea for that or this sound? And I was just, you know, grabbing myself uh, a weekend on some stuff like that, and I sent her a sound, or, or, or she sent me some sounds as well, uh, because the place where she was, she was shooting, the actual environment was very active in Iceland. Uh, the, the wind, the snow is very, it's a character in its own. So anyways, that was, let's say, the starting part, a very important part to create the, the, the sound at the very end. And the first part of this process is cutting the actual sounds, hearing the sounds, deciding which ones are going to be, where are we going to place them, how are they going to play, and for that, you need very good tools. For sound, as you can imagine, the very first tool to work with is a good set of speakers. So, because I have a long time love relationship with the speakers that I love, which are the Adams, now they came out with the new Adams series, the A series. So it was a very interesting moment for, you know, testing on the field, the A series, and it was such a great, beautiful surprise to, to hear them working and you know, the process, it's a long process in that sense that you have to cut the sounds, think about the, the actual design of every scene, 
and you will see on this piece how detailed can go uh, scene by scene. But then again, you have to rely on a good set of speakers. It's crucial that what you're hearing is going to translate accordingly, not only to the mixing stage, but in the end, to where you know the, everyone, every everyone is going to see the feature. Uh, it's probably going to be on a TV set, on a good TV set, in the best case scenario, but it can also be on an iPad or, or a phone. Remember, this is just a section, just a fraction of the actual work. Backgrounds should be added there, the foley should be added here, obviously all the dialogue when the scene happens, you know. And I was, uh, on this specific scene, I was, uh, and, and in general, I think for the series, I was very keen on looking for the sound of the wind, not only because the wind is there, but also the wind is making something happen. Let's say that you are there and you you could actually feel the, the wind hitting you, right? Hitting your your clothing. When the editors were just you know, drafting the first sketches of the episodes with, with, the, with the director, with Isa. This is the sound of a caribou scream that I use many, many other moments for. For the scene, it, it is part of a s actual caribou scream and a human female voice scream. And then we have some other stuff that was uh, placed, you know, as an idea coming from different libraries from previous shows probably. I had this electric crackling that I felt it had a, a, an interesting feature sound. But look at the EQing that I'm using here because I just need, you know, I only need this little segment of the actual sound. That's something that you don't know if it's in the head of Clark or if it's actually something happening or occurring in the power failure previous to the shutdown, you know? So these are things that are telling our brains as you watch the show, it's there, but you don't have to be conscious about it. You just have to know that it's there uh, this is another one. So I'm going to hit solo just for this group. We have groups for every editorial sound labor. You know, this is a motive that we use a lot through the series. That is something that Isa wants to happen. One sound becomes another sound. The sound of the wind becomes the hum of the microwave. And it's going to happen with many other elements and motives through the series. You will see that one sound belongs to another sound or becomes another sound. Okay, so that was just a very brief example of the job that's been done uh, through the fourth season of True Detective for Isa Lopez. And uh, I hope you have enjoyed this trip. Thanks to, to our friends at Adam Audio for, you know, uh, allowing, us, allowing us to use the amazing series. But, you know, for fine tuning and these examples are very clear on how important it is to have the right speakers, the right tools for hearing what you really need to be hearing. So thank you again, be well, and look forward to seeing you in the next one. <laughs>